So this is your Jeep Avenger E Hybrid 4XE 2024 model. It is a variant on the Jeep Avenger lineup, but we do say that this is an SUV, a little SUV built for adventure. Why do we say that? We're going to go ahead and break the technicalities behind this E Hybrid vehicle down so we understand where we are coming from. But before that, Allow me to say a big thank you to you for passing through and welcome to the channel Auto Stop, guys. Let's get down to the business of being here. Now, I would like to start by saying that the 4X4 version, this particular one, will be launched on the Avenger in the last quarter of this year, 2024, before the same 4x4 system would be equipped on the Alpha Romeo Jr., guys. So now let's get down and have a closer look at what we got for this 4XE e hybrid. Now the Avenger e hybrid 4XE is distinguished by few aesthetic features. I believe you have seen a lot of that for yourself. That is not our focus, but I'll touch on a few things here and there on the aesthetic look and then we can progress. The front and rear bumpers are Mars tinted with a scratch resistant black finish. You can see that. And the front fascia is more prominent to protect the license plate from impacts and features redesigned fog lights positioned slightly higher outward to improve nighttime vision. And I believe you agree with this that I'm talking about. Yes. Now, let me delve down into the lower grille. And the lower grille and the radar are protected by the fluorescent green bumpers and a, a color that is also found on the two-tone anti-reflective sticker, which is placed on the optional hood. Uh, you have black roof bars. You've got rear tow hook and a washable upholstery completing this equipment design for adventure guys. This vehicle has increased ground clearance by 210 millimeters. Right, and this 4X4 version offers increased crossing angles. And by that, I mean that you've got 22 degrees attacking angle to a vintage. You've got 21 degrees when tilting and you've got 35 degrees when exiting, departuring from a, a vintage. This is enough to increase its folding capacity by 400 millimeters. And because of this, Jeep says that it has the ability to climb slopes of nearly 40% on difficult terrains like gravel and mud and up to 20% in the absence of grip on the front axle, guys. We would hold this vehicle to the tarmac when it becomes available so that we can actually test these figures Jeep is putting out there. But then at this point, let's break this unique micro-hybrid all-wheel drive down that we are getting as a 4XE on the Jeep Avengers. So the name 4XE, which traditionally designates the all-wheel drive versions of the Jeep manufacturer, refers to a plug-in hybrid engine. What is this plug-in hybrid engine composed of? It comes with a 1.2 liter e-hybrid engine, which does out 136 horsepower. And this comes with first 48 volt synchronous electric motor with permanent magnets of 21 kilowatts. That's 28 horsepower. And this is integrated in the punch powertrain EDC S6 automatic transmission. And then you have the second same motor that is mounted on the rear axle, the same amount of power 28. And the whole thing uses a small battery with a gross capacity of 0 0.9 kilowatts. And that is a setup. Now, once you do this setup, you come to have a loop, what we call power loop system. And this power loop system between the two electric motors makes the all-wheel drive available. So thanks to the power looping system, all-wheel drive is available regardless of the charge level of the 48 volt battery. They said that the gasoline engine provides traction to the front wheels while the electric motor integrated into the dual clutch transmission functions as a generator, providing energy directly to the rear electric motor. Now, this micro hybrid configuration allows you to drive in electric mode at low speed for up to few kilometers and to perform some maneuvers, for example, parking. Now, Jeep is reluctant about giving us the cumulative power, but there is an incredible torque value that was measured, which is 1,900 Newton meters here. And the two electric motors do not provide real gain in power. Just take note of that. But on the contrary, it serves to offer more torque at low refs and a permanent transmission on a limited range of use, guys.
Now, when you have all of this, what does it do? Avenger E Hybrid 4XE presents itself as a fully fledged 4X4 and it sometimes falls to abandoned proportion to only be motorized via its front wheel. Now, when you are doing up to 30 km per hour, four wheels permanently drive the vehicle with 50 50 distribution. From 30 to 90 km per hour, the rear axle transmission activates only at the driver's request with a rear electric motor remaining connected to the wheels when needed. When all wheel drive is engaged, the torque distribution can reach 50 50 and varies depending on the input of the right pedal. Now, what that means is that when you hit above 90 km per hour, traction becomes permanent and the rear electric motor disengages from the axle to minimize fuel consumption and the values of which are yet to be communicated. Now, that means that you've got the select train that functions to provide access to four drive modes that can influence the transmission. You've got the auto mode, which consumes less and auto mode offers all whole drive only on request no mode combined enhanced stability control and so called intelligent all-wheel drive while sand and mud designed for rough terrain uses specific gear shift ratios and traction control the final mode will be sport and so the sport mode which mobilizes all the power and torque includes an e-boost function and the latter uses the full function of the electric motor located on the rear wheels, allowing the Avenger to reach 194 km per hour and to go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 9.5 seconds, guys, in sport mode, thanks to the E function boost, guys. So, all these technicalities are there for the 4XE E hybrid that Jeep just launched on the Avenger lineup. And it makes it a very interesting addition to the lineup including the outland and then the inland models guys so this is what jeep is offering us do you think that it is any better than the global lineup that we do have or it wasn't necessary this is what also go for you thank you so much have a good great day until meeting time again bye bye